Hotel Hall. You dialed 909. You want to tell us why you're cold? Do you mind if we sit down? I'm WPC Keen, Debbie. This is PC Loxton. Can you tell us what's happened? Uh, I was in bed through there. And I woke up. I could feel this hand over my mouth. Who was it, Sarah? He had a mask on, like a, a, a balaclava with eye holes and a mouth hole. He raped me. When did this happen? Uh, it was still dark. I just lay there maybe two hours. It got light, then I called you. I think he got in through the bathroom window and must have left it open. Do you live here alone? This man, can you describe him at all? Uh, he was wearing uh, jeans and, and a jumper. I couldn't see the colours. And his hands were in those thin rubber gloves like a doctor. Height? Don't know, taller than me. Was he fat, thin? I tried not to touch him. I, average. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Guess his way. I really can't. Did he say anything? <laughs> okay, Sarah, we're going to take you to a safe place now where a doctor can examine you. All right. Do you want to get some clothes together to take with us? She's having a shower, presumably quite a long one. So what have we got? Well, he hasn't left us much to go on. I don't think we'll get a trace off the swabs. Do you think she's lying? No, that's not my feeling. A whole state that's hard to fake and there are some bruises. My guess is that he used a condom. Right. Mr. Considerate. So we don't get his DNA. What about hair? They haven't got any off the bed. Fingerprints? No, Sarge. They dusted down the bathroom window. You could see the marks of the glove. So that's how he got in? It's not difficult to climb up the back of the building, if you're motivated. OK, you can leave this with us now. Is she still in the rape suite? No, Sarge. She's back at her flat with her mother. Right. She waited a while before raising the alarm. That's not unusual. Sure. Well, let's go and have a word with Miss Hall while it's still fresh in her mind. Sarah Hall rang in a second ago. She said he's got keys. The rapist. Keys to her flat. I just got back from that place. What do you lot call it? The rape suite? Yeah. Like in a hotel. Like the honeymoon suite. Biscuits. Thanks very much, Mrs. Hall. I came in first, and I went into the bedroom straight away. You know, to face it. Mum closed the front door, and then I remembered. I heard that after he left me. The sound of the front door closing. But it was double locked. And the keys were in my bag with me in the bedroom. He must have had his own set. In which case, he presumably came in the same way. Opened the window as a decoy. Yeah, I knew I'd closed it. Who else has spare keys? Neighbours? No, nobody. Just my mum. Could someone have taken yours and copied them? What, you mean a friend? It is possible, Sarah, that he's someone you know. That could be why he's using a mask because you've met before. But I keep my keys with me. When did you buy this flat? <sniffs> Three months ago. And did you change the locks then? Oh God, no, I didn't. The guy that I bought this place from, uh, George Hibbard, he... God, I mean, I only met him a couple of times, you know, when I came to look round the place. But it was like he kind of fancied me. And then he rang me up a few weeks ago to thank me for forwarding his mail. He suggested then we should go for a drink sometime. I stalled him. You know, politely. You got his address? They've been sitting there for a couple of days.
Could have picked him up last night. George Hibbard? Yes? I'm DS Bolton. This is WDC Rawton from Sun Hill. Could we come in for a moment, please? Oh, uh, well, you've caught me at a bit of a bad moment, actually. I don't suppose you could come back later? Sorry. The thing is, I really need to fax this by noon. So you work from home, yeah? Yes, since I gave up teaching. Where were you in the early hours this morning? Say between two and six? Two and six? Sounds like old money, doesn't it? Half a crown. <laughs> uh, I was asleep through there. Can anyone confirm that? N no. What's going on? We understand that you used to live at 68 Elcock Gardens. Yeah, that's right. Flat two. I sold it a few months ago. Has something happened there? You still got keys? No. They went to the buyer, obviously. You didn't keep a set? No. Why should I? I won't find them in here, then. Oh, I, I can't remember what that lot's for anymore. Things like lost padlocks. My mum's old shed. They just accumulate. I, I should throw them away. We can check them. Actually, now you mention it, I think there might be a spare set there for Elcott Gardens. She, she's been attacked, hasn't she? So what did you think of Sarah Hall when she was there in your flat, looking round it? I thought, I hope she's impressed. By you? No, by the flat. Oh, yeah, the flat. Is there something you'd like to tell us? What do you mean? Look, I'm happy to help, honestly, but what exactly is it I'm supposed to have done? Guess. That's it. I don't have to play games with you. Sit down, please, Mr. Hibbert. Why don't you arrest me if you think I raped her? Who said she was raped? That's what you're implying. I'm not an idiot. Did you rape her? No, I did not. Please, Mr. Hibbert, take a seat. That's better. Did you find her attractive? I didn't think about it. Really? But you phoned her. You asked her to go out with you. Didn't you? Oh, I didn't realise that was a crime. To ask someone out. Really? What's the penalty for that then? Castration? You had the keys, George. And you denied that you had them. Hibbard's our man. Now obviously the keys aren't going to be Sarge, enough on their own. Please. But if we keep the pressure Come up... on a sec, Sarge. Tosh? Yeah? We're on this rape case and it rings some kind of bell. Was it you telling me about a rape where the guy used a condom? Yeah, about six months ago. Was he masked as well? That's right, yeah. Woman in her twenties. Amanda Smith, I think she was called. We didn't get him. It's on file. Right, I was going to check. So was it in our own home? Yeah. As I recall, he got in through the kitchen window. Thanks. I'll look it up. It's all right. Liz? Two minutes, Sarge. Hey, Liz, what are you up to? Just give us a minute. Amanda Smith, six months ago, raped in a flat by an intruder, early hours of the morning. He used a mask and a condom. The kitchen window was open. Looks like the same man. Thank you for being so patient, Mr Hibbard. We appreciate it. How long did you live at the flat at Elcock Gardens? Seven years. You told us before that you used to teach. Where was that? Canley College. Economics. Why? Mr Hibbert, do you know Amanda Smith? No. You sure about that, are you? Yes. We're not going to find her keys at your flat as well, are we? <sighs> Can I say something about those keys? If I'd used them last night or this morning or whenever it was, I wouldn't have left them on a shelf for you to find, would I? I don't know, George. I don't know how your mind works. I don't know any Amanda Smith, all right? I didn't do it. I'll call Amanda in a minute. Have you caught him yet? I work in a minute. She shouldn't be so long. She's selling the flat. Probably won't lose too much on it. But you've got the solicitor's fees, haven't you? And the estate agents. What is it? Two and a half percent? Yeah. Haven't you even got a suspect? Dad? Oh, come in, love. Amanda. Hi. 
I'm DC Rawton from Sun Hill. I work with DC Lanes. How are you? Fine. Your dad was just about to give you a call. There's a couple of things we'd like to ask you. Amanda, do you know a man called George Hibbard? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Is he a suspect? We're just making inquiries at the moment, Mr. Smith. Amanda, did you by any chance ever go to Canley College? Amanda went to Oxford. Really? That's very impressive. I'm not a child. You know how long I was in my flat? Two months. I was happy there. And then he came in. Just two months after I bought it. Amanda, we're doing everything we can. We'd better get off now, but thanks very much for your help. Which estate agent did you buy your flat through? J.P. Peters. They're handling the sale now. Hello, this is Liz Rawton from Sun Hill. Could I have a word with Sarah, please? They were both attacked a couple of months after buying a new flat. Yeah? Hello, Sarah. Could you tell me which estate agent you bought your flat through? And who did you deal with there? Great. I'll be in touch. So what's the story? Both victims bought their flats through J.P. Peters. And both were handled by the same agent, a guy called Stephen Main. And? He would have had keys to both flats, could have had copies made in minutes. Then waited a couple of months. Then acted. Good afternoon, we're from Sunhill CID. I'm DS Bolton, this is WDC Rawton, and you are... See what he says. John Peters. Yeah. Ah. Would it be possible for us to have a word with one of your employees, a Mr. Okay. Stephen Hi. Main? Hi, that's me. What's going on? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Peters. We're looking into a couple of incidents at properties that have recently passed through your agency. We're a bit concerned about duplicate keys getting into the wrong hands, vendors holding onto sets. Do you think you could spare Mr. Main for a while? Clear up a couple of queries? Ha, ah, I've got an appointment in about half an hour. Oh, don't worry, Stephen. I'll cover it for you. OK. So this is being recorded, but I'm not under arrest. That's right. Like I said before, you're free to leave at any time. OK. Did you handle the sale of a flat to an Amanda Smith about eight months ago? Yes, I did. And are you selling that flat for her now? Yes, I am. Well, trying to anyway. Do you know why she put it back on the market? She was attacked. Some guy climbed through a kitchen window in the middle of the night. <laughs> Don't blame her for moving. She wasn't just attacked, though, was she, Mr. Mean? I'm sorry? Oh, I see. Oh, that's terrible. Sorry. So where were you between two and six this morning? What? It's a straightforward question, Mr. Mean. Hold on a second. I I'm sorry, but I thought we were here to discuss vendors keeping keys. Am I suspected of something? It's just routine, Steve, and what we do is, is we staff very wide. Then we eliminate the peripheral people first, no offence. OK. Well, I don't have any witnesses. I was asleep at that time. No girlfriend. I live alone. Look, has someone else been raped? Someone who's brought a flat through us. Maybe I can help if you tell me who it was. Who said it was a flat? I see. I'm supposed to know all this because I'm supposed to have done it. Well, I didn't. I don't believe this. Look, isn't, isn't there some way I can prove this? Um, tests you can do. Like what? Like a sample? I'm sorry? A blood sample? You know, the, um, the DNA thing, um, the matching, that'll rule me out, yeah? Very thoughtful. OK, I'll get it organised. Good. I don't see the point of this, Liz. We've got nothing to match it with. We don't have the rapist's DNA. I know. I just had to call his bluff. He knows he's covered himself. He could be innocent. Yeah, it's a possibility. You know, if I'd have raped a client, she would have identified me. 
unless she's been killed. Or unless she were wearing a mask. Right. Yeah, a mask. That makes sense. So you're not going to tell me who the victim was? You know who she was. Look, I don't mind helping. But I'd like to be treated with a bit more common courtesy. And I would like you to tell me who it is I'm supposed to have violated. Because then I might be able to offer you the assistance you so obviously need. Sarah Hall. Thank you. Very much. A flat in Alcott Gardens. Sixty-something. Well, have you spoken to the previous owner? Because people do hold on to keys. What's his name? Hibbard. George Hibbard. Now, I'm not saying he did it, but... He obviously fancied her something rotten. Um, I'm sorry. Why are the keys relevant? That's how he got in. I thought he got in through the bathroom window. Did he? Okay, fine. But, but you said earlier you were concerned about duplicate keys. Uh, I'm only putting two and two together. Fair enough. We'll get in touch with this guy, Hibbard. But before we do, do you mind if we take a quick look around your flat? Would this be with a view to buying it? You never know. No, no, look, come on, look. This is silly. You've got my blood. I, I don't see the point. It's just a quick check. You won't take no for an answer, will you? Home sweet home. Nice place, Stephen. Thank you very much. So, what are we looking for? A mask, maybe some keys? Well, feel free. Bedroom, bathroom. She's nice. You two, um... No. You use condoms. When the occasion arises, who doesn't? I don't like them, but they're a necessary evil. Yeah, certainly are. Especially if you don't want to get caught. I was just looking at your award in the bathroom, Steve. Congratulations. Ah, that, yeah. Well, they got the wrong idea. There's only one other employee, and she was about 12. Why'd you leave Leicester? I got a job down here. So, have you seen all that you want to see? Yeah, we'll run you back to your office now. And we'll have a chat with that George Hibbard that you mentioned. Oh, I'm sure it's not him. Doesn't seem capable of such a thing. And I doubt he knows Amanda Smith. Oh, no, he knows Amanda, all right. What? George had his flat on the market for over a year. I'm sure Amanda looked round it. Hello, this is Liz Roughton from the Met. I'm looking for information on unsolved rapes in Leicester. In the victim's home, using a mask, say between a year two years ago. And I'm particularly interested if the victim recently bought her home. Great. No, I'll call you. Thanks. Bye. Liz, I've just checked with J.P. Peters. Amanda Smith did visit George Hibbard's flat. Well, come on. Why did you lie to us about Amanda Smith? I forgot about her. I mean, I forgot her name. I'm not good with names. Did you ask her to go out with you? No. Not exactly. What do you mean? You know about it. She's told you, obviously. You tell us. So she guessed it was from me. I wrote her a poem. I was drunk. I should never have posted it. it. It's embarrassing. You sent her a poem? So you knew where she lived? I knew where she worked. One day I waited for her and followed her home, so then I knew, yes. George, how did you get in? I, I didn't. I put it through the letterbox, that's all. I was too embarrassed even to sign it. I never touched her, and I never touched Sarah Hall. It's the truth. I believe you, George. You never touched them. Not exactly anyway, because you were wearing gloves. 
I think I'm going to be sick. Well, Liz, call came through from Leicester. They've got one that fits your profile. And this is the victim's address, is it? Yeah. Thanks, Sarge. Let's leave Hibbert in his cell for a while. Let him stew. I want the number of Silton's estate agents in Leicester. There's only one branch. I'm sorry, he's out negotiating with a client. He won't be back for some time. Can we have the address, please? If you must. But please don't alarm the client. She's, shall we say, vulnerable. Do you think I should accept it? Absolutely. It's a really good offer. Hello, Liz. Well, this is Stephen Main, and he's found a buyer for my flat. Yeah? Great. You're just about finished here, Mr. Main. Not really, no, Liz. I'm sorry, Amanda. Mr. Main's got to come with us now. I tell you what, how about I come down to the station when I've finished here? I think it would be better if you just came with us now. What's going on? <laughs> I'm not ready yet. OK, Stephen. Let's go. Don't touch me. I don't have to come with you. I'm afraid you do, because I'm arresting what's you. What's happening? What's happening, Liz? For? You know what for. Save it for outside. Liz! I don't believe this. It's all right, Liz? Amanda. Liz, I've just released George here. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Main? Sarge, the fax has just come through from Leicester CID. The rape doesn't quite fit his pattern after all. What? You're not an attractive man, Steve. You could go out with these women. Very nice of you to say so. But then you'd be exposed. Is that what you're afraid of? Revealing yourself. You're afraid you'll scare them off. You seem right through me. So you really scare them, don't you? You really hurt them when you stay safe, in control, in your mask. Is this where I sign the confession? Must be a powerful feeling. I'd imagine so, yeah. Do you remember a Laura Jones? No, who's she? She was a client of yours in Leicester. Well, I sold a lot of properties in Leicester. Laura Jones was raped. What do you think? You think because I've, I'm under arrest I'm going to fall apart? I did not, repeat not, rape Sarah Hall, Amanda Smith, or Lorna Jones. Laura, not Lorna. Nice touch, though. Or maybe you really can't remember her name. Wiped it out. Because you left something behind there, didn't you? This is ridiculous. I'm going to be suing you for wrongful arrest. You weren't as safe then as you are now. You weren't as well protected. What are you talking about, sweetheart? The rapist in Leicester didn't wear a condom. When he left Laura Jones, he left traces behind him. They've got his DNA. And me? I've got your blood. 